Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to High Tier Trades. If you missed my last video, then I highly recommend watching it. In the last video, I traded from a Bonzo the All-Gnawing, Hunter in Darkness, up to where I am now. And that is just about 1300-ish keys and unusuals, uh, some really high tier hats like a Knife Storm Shelmet, uh, and I even bought myself a Big Kill, a Vintage Spelled Big Kill just for keeps, so that's not going to be in the series anymore. Those 300 keys are gone, but we'll be continuing pretty much from where we left off. I am quick buying a new hat. Uh, this is a Pumpkin Party Hollowed Helm from the new uh, 2020 Halloween update. And if I look at the sell orders and buy orders on it. Uh, I actually set a buy order on this for 15 keys, um, but of course the buyers climbed a bit higher, closer to 16. Um, yeah, it's a new hat, probably one of the best Halloween effects from this year, and I think it's really themed and really underrated, and mostly I just wanted to buy one for keeps, so that's why I put a buy order on it. Um, so yeah, I paid 17 keys here. Uh, Buy orders are at 15 and a half, close to 16, and sellers are over 25. So yeah, 17 keys for this, that's about 30% off of what the sellers want. So it's a decent quick buy, and I'll probably just hang on to it for a while. It's a super themed, super underrated hat with this effect. All right guys, let's check this out in game. Um, try it out on my scout, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I'll have to keep this hat for a while. Ooh, it's spooky on all the classes. Hmm, I love that. So here I'm selling this Wintry Wisp Flippin' Awesome. I got it in the last trade for the Scorching Flames Cold Snap. Um, it's worth like 13 keys, but buyers were higher, so I, I just listed it really high at 25. Uh, but I got a deal for 18 and a half keys pure, so that's pretty good and nice to get some more pure. Alright guys, here I'm upgrading most of my unusuals for something pretty crazy. Uh, as you can see here, I'm upgrading my Omniscient Orb, Hunter in Darkness, my Sunbeams, Dragonborn, my Blizzardy Storm Law, the Spelled Kilowatt, uh, Charmer Chapeau, a Blizzardy Storm Valley Forge, this Victory Lap Frosted Star and Six Keys, for a Scorching Flames Brotherhood of Arms. So. This Brotherhood of Arms is 300 keys, price and date, three months ago. Uh, it's only one on the market right now, and has buyers at 190. So, checking just the burning one for a comparison, uh, it's also worth 300 keys with buy orders at over 200. Um, so, totaling up all these unusuals together, it's just about 310 keys. Uh, and items from what I figured however these items aren't super easy sells in my opinion like I've had this Valley Forge for a while and this is a third gen it's spelled which is nice but still probably will take some time uh, and yeah in general just not the craziest hats but I am overpaying a little bit for this Scorching Flames Brotherhood of Arms. This probably won't be super easy to sell either, however, it's really nice and all class. And I've kind of wanted one for a long time, so let me send the offer. All right guys, so I just got the Brotherhood of Arms. Let's check it out. Ooh, straight out of two fort. Scorching Flames. Freaking baller. Holy cow. Aw, oh, I just need a scorching team captain now. 
and maybe change this for a burning one. Mmm, 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 mmm. Nice. Good and tasty. All right, so I had the Scorching Flames Brotherhood for I think three weeks. Uh, I didn't have it too long. It was a nice hat, but I recently traded it for 140 keys and a Burning Flames well-wrapped hat. Uh, this is a Assassin Grade All Class, and it's just. A burning all class it's pretty nice in a trade for a scorching all class um, so yeah the well wrapped it's worth 140 keys or just over and getting 140 keys pure is pretty good because despite me overpaying a little bit 20 keys um, the fact that half of his offer is pure plus a pretty nice unusual um, yeah it makes it makes all the difference especially since uh, the buy order on this is 85 keys, so adding 140, that's 225, compared to the buy order on the Brotherhood, which is 190. So yeah, I'm overpaying a little bit in this offer, but it's a worthy downgrade to get a ton of pure and a nice all-class hat. So I'll show you it in-game. No, you're kidding me. I was just about to start. Damn it. All right, so I just got the items. Burning Flames well wrapped and 140 keys. All right, let's check it out. Got it on Scout here. It's pretty clean. And it looks good on quite a lot of classes in my opinion. It's a interesting hat for sure, but I think it's a bit too cheap at 140 keys. It used to be worth a lot more. Works well with the tuxie. Alright guys, so after having this Knife Storm Shelmet for about 3 or 4 months, I really didn't want to let go of it. Um, I'm selling it right now. So my buyout was 650 keys. I initially bought this for uh, my anti-freeze team captain, and they added 30 keys to that. So I basically got this Shelmet for 490 keys in items. So I'm adding 25 keys here. And I'm getting a Haunted Ghost Skullcap, a Frostbite Chieftain's Challenge, and a Phosphorus Modest Pile of Hat, along with a Pro Killstreak Australian Islander with a couple parts and a very nice Killstreaker. So this guy's been after this Shelmet for quite a while, I just haven't really wanted to let go of it for too cheap. But finally, this Haunted Ghost Skullcap is, uh, I think on Backpack TF, it's 360 keys. It's a super rare exclusive soldier hat from end of the line. Uh, it's one of two. Okay, the only the other one is for sale for less than backpack price. So I don't think there's going to be a, a easy sell at all because it's stupid expensive for haunted ghosts. But it looks super sick on soldier. And to be honest, I'd probably just hang on to it for a long time, just like this shelmet. Um, this frostbite chieftain's challenge is also end of the line. Um, it was recently updated to 125, 130 keys, uh, buy order at 100. This Phosphorus Modest Pile of Hat, it's one of three, just old school robo hat, uh, or robo effect. Phosphorus is the robotic scorching variant. And yeah, it's a cool hat, worth 120 keys. This Islander is probably 70, 75 keys, depending on the seller. So in total, this is about 675 keys and stuff, and I'm adding 25, so I'm getting my buyout of 650 keys on the Shelmet. And that's a good amount of profit considering I paid 490. All right, so I just got the items. Let's check them out. Ooh, Haunted Ghost Skullcap, the Australian Islander. This thing's, Islanders are so expensive. Um, blame Solar Light, I guess. Ban him for market manipulation. Um, got the Phosphorus Modest Pile of Hat, all class, and the Frostbite Chieftain's Challenge for Soldier.
All right, so just sold this Islander, Australian. Uh, I got it in the last deal for my Shelmet. Uh, these things go for around 65 to 70 keys. Uh, this one had a couple parts on it and a nice kill streaker, Tornado and Team Shine. So I thought I could get a little bit more, and it seems like I did. So uh, this is 60 keys and a Miami Knights helmet without a home. This hat's 15 keys. Um, so in total that's 75. Not too bad, buy orders are at 8 on this. So if I quick sold it, I'd still be happy. Sellers are a little bit low at 12. Um, but yeah, I'm getting around the going rate, so I'm fine with that since most of it's pure. Alright guys, so I just made a very large trade here. Uh, I don't usually do these massive trades too often, but they're just so much fun, especially when it's something like this that I know I make sure deal profit on. So yes, I'm trading a crap load of unusuals here. Uh, I think this is basically all the unusuals I have. Um, I have my Haunted Ghost Skullcap, this thing's like 370 keys. Uh, I got my Burning Flames well wrapped, a Frostbite Chieftains, a phosphorus modest pile of hat uh, and some low tiers here, but yet yeah, these are these aren't cheap. These are pretty expensive downgrades. Um, all four of these are well over a hundred keys, and you might be asking, what are these two unusuals here? So, I got a hat with no name and a killer exclusive. Now, bah, drum roll, please. A scorching flames. Hat with no name. This is a multi-class hat. Looks great on all the classes it's for. Um, yeah, I think it's a really cool hat. Now the killer exclusive, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, some people I know really hate it and it's generally not that easy to sell. Um, but it looks decent on all the classes. Uh, for me personally, I'd only get a killer exclusive in burning. Uh, I just think that's the only one that looks good. Um, so I did. And <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is a pretty big milestone hat. Of course, these aren't nearly as much as they used to be. But it's still a impressive hat and kind of rings true with the, the more older school traders. Just that it's, it's a pretty clean all-class hat. Uh, this used to be worth more than the Burning Flames team captain, it used to be like 5,000, 6,000 keys. Uh, I remember watching Strife videos of this, this thing getting traded around left and right just for thousands of keys, several, several golden pans, and uh, those were the days, but no, this thing's now just over 700 keys, um, but yeah, it's, it's still pretty expensive for a burning all class these days, especially since it's still in the unlocked multi-class crate, you can unbox it considerably easier than some other hats. Um, but yeah, let's let's total this all up real quick. So, um, we got the unusual skull cap. That's about 375. Uh, this well wraps 150. Actually, I think backpack price is a bit less, but 150 is fair. Um, the Chieftain's Challenge, recently priced at 130 uh, really high buy orders, buy orders on these hats though, uh, I'll go through that next. Uh, a Phosphorus Modest Pile of Hat, this is going to be repriced to 120 it's worth 120 it's fair. And this is, let's see, 20, 2, 30, there's like 30, 35 keys in low tiers here, so yeah, 810 keys. That's quite a lot. You don't do big trades like this every day. Um, and on his side, of course, the killer exclusive it has a price suggestion at 720. It got a pure sale for that fairly recently. Um, and this scorching flames hat with no names technically priced at 170 keys. However, buy orders are also at 170, so it's probably like 200, 250. If I were to say, so yeah, that's a lot of overpay. Uh, definitely over a hundred keys. 
uh, almost 200 keys if I'm sort of highballing some stuff. But yeah, it's I, it's a fair amount of overpay because I'm these are these are pretty nice downgrades, but these do have very high buy order. So let's go through that next. So the buy orders on all these go as the following: 230, uh, 110, 105 for the chieftains, 80 for the modest. Uh, I'll just say 30 for the rest. That's 555. Buy orders on his side. Just the killer exclusive alone has buy orders over 500. There's one buy order at 520, so I'll go with that. And like I said, 170 on these. So yeah, it's <laughs> it's a lot in just buy orders alone. Like I'd probably profit if I sold these to buy orders. So let's check them out in game. Policy of Truth, the Burning Flames Killer exclusive. Take a little screeny of that. And the Midnight Rider, the Scorching Flames hat with no name. A little screenshot of that. Nice. Ooh, mama. This is the most expensive first gen I've ever had. Um, uh. Wait, okay, I had a Scorching Flames Hong Kong cone when it was still priced at 1400 keys, but it was never worth 1400 keys at the time I bought that. that I, I paid like 300 keys for that, um, or even last year, I, I don't even know. Anyways, this is worth just over 700 keys, pretty crazy, first gen all class, and old school god tier put on scout. Probably the most scunty hat in the game though, but it's nice. Oh man. Oh man. I really don't know if I should get rid of the white paint, because to be honest I like just the stock color. had this killer exclusive for maybe three or four days and I already sold it so I really didn't expect this uh, I was thinking this hat would take months to sell to be honest even though it is one of the old classics but the guy before me was stuck with it that's why he was so keen on just dumping it to me but yep I sold it so this guy Scud uh, he was interested in it he commented on my profile a couple days ago I missed it but added him up today and he wanted to offer something that I've actually never traded with before. So this will be a little bit of an experiment for me, but I know that this is a good deal too. So I added a few keys, as you can see. Uh, he wanted some black paint, so I mean that's fine, this is a big old trade. So what did I get? Aha, I got some CSGO items, so I don't really play CSGO, I don't know, it just not a huge fan of the game. I guess it's fun to mess around with friends, but uh, I don't know. I just like TF2 way better, uh, and the economy is just much more fun, and trading is just much more fun if you enjoy the game first. CSGO is, has a pretty darn good market. It's pretty stable. Um, not as profitable as it used to be, I'd say, but it makes for good offers on if you're going back and forth between TF2 and CSGO. So what did I get here? I got this Bowie Knife Doppler, it's factory new, and yes this is a Sapphire, uh, so Sapphire is probably the highest tier Doppler, um, I think it, it, it depends on the knife, but generally uh, Sapphires are more desirable and it is the most expensive for the Bowie Knives. I got this nice pair of gloves, it's a minimal wear emerald web specialist gloves so yeah these are real nice um, the float on this is really bordering field tested but I don't think that matters too much uh, and I also got him to add a AK Bloodsport factory new um, just got him to add this uh, as a little sweet 
so yeah, what's what's the value of all of these items? So I had to ask some friends, uh, just where do I price these CSGO things and how, how do I sell them if I need to? Um, and I was directed to Buff. So Buff is a, I guess it's a Chinese marketplace, but uh, a lot of CSGO traders use this all around the world. And it's it's like Marketplace.tf, except it's peer-to-peer, -peer, so there's no bots, you don't have to deposit your items or anything. Uh, the only problem is that if you don't live in mainland China, you can't uh, deposit or withdraw money onto this, but you can buy and sell items and use your uh, buff whatever uh, whatever credits you have here and buy other things. So yeah, this is a pretty good source of buying and selling CSGO skins, it seems. Um, so yeah, this is the Sapphire Bowie Knife, the cheapest one selling at the moment for just under $800. Uh, buy orders are at $750. And the Emerald Gloves, um, $840, just under $850. And... $816 for buy orders um, and of course AK Bloodsport this of course will be pretty liquid it's a nice play skin yeah 54 bucks uh, now of course all this these prices don't mean anything unless you have some sort of conversion uh, but thankfully they do sell keys and TF2 unusuals here um, you can list those as well so how much are TF2 keys at the moment a dollar seventy-eight. Cool. So, if I just add up seven hundred eighty, say, if I'm undercutting these sellers, uh, this this is eight forty, and then the blood sport is fifty-four. Um, there is a selling fee if I were to sell it on this website. It's really small though. I think it's only two or three percent. Um, so I'll cut that out and divide by a dollar seventy-eight because that's what the keys are going for here. So yeah, that's just over nine hundred TF2 keys. This offer is over nine hundred keys on this Burning Flames Killer exclusive. Uh, the Killer exclusives price on Backpack TF just over seven hundred keys. Uh, and I got it even cheaper than that for unusuals. So turning this into 900 pure keys is a amazing trade. Um, but yeah, I'll just have to wait a little bit for these to become tradable and I'll turn them into TF2 items somehow. It'd be really nice to get some good TF2 overpay, but I don't know how common that is because for one, it's very uncommon to get overpay with CSGO items. Um, but yeah, I'll show them to you in-game. Alright guys, welcome to CSGO Trading Series no number number one. Let's check out our items. And I, I don't play this game at all. Ooh, AK Bloodsport. That's very pretty. Oh yeah. That's a nice pattern, I think. Doesn't have central webs or do, do these even have central webs? I don't know. Yeah, it's got a lot of webbing. Looks pretty clean. Let's see. How do I? Ooh. Man, that sapphire is beautiful. Hey, what's up, guys? Leafy here. The keys just went through, and I guess let's check it out.
Alright guys, so here I am selling my AK Bloodsport. Uh, this is worth 30 keys, pretty much, for a Haunted Ghost Private Eye. So this is worth 35 with buy orders at 29, so I'm basically quick buying it, and that's pretty good. So I'm gonna accept this trade. And I'll probably just re-quick sell this Private Eye, or maybe try to sell it for a bit more if I can get a nice deal on it. This is a multi-class hat. It's for Demo Man, Spy, and Medic, I think. And Honda Ghost is a pretty nice first-gen effect. Looks really nice on the Spy, of course. And the Medic. It's not too bad. So I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Alright guys, so I finally got the last CSGO item sold. Now, I just sold the Specialist Gloves Emerald Web. Uh, these are minimal wear. Uh, and I just sold them on Buff. So Buff is a Chinese marketplace. Um, it's pretty popular in the CSGO scene now. And it's really easy to use. So I just sold it for 5,200 yuan or whatever the Chinese currency is. It's just over $800. Uh, now I can't cash this out on this website because I do not have a Chinese bank account. But I can use this uh, in-store credit and buy TF2 keys because they sell TF2 items as well. So I just put a bunch of buy orders for keys and they should be all coming through. Um, and in total I think I ordered 426 keys. So I sold the uh, sold the Bowie Knife Sapphire for 425 pure basically. I sold the AK-47 Bloodsport Blood Factory New, that one I sold for uh, 30, a 35 key unusual, the Haunted Ghosts Private Eye, uh, but buy orders on that are pretty much at 30, so if I were to quick sell that, that'd be easily 30. And 426 keys on these gloves, so that means for that killer exclusive, I managed to get 881 pure keys out of that deal. And that's really insane because now there's some KEs that are selling. Uh, I think they were going for just over 700, 750, which I guess is what I'd expect them to go to. So I just got really lucky. Uh, yeah, one selling for 800 now. There was one selling for closer to 700 earlier. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. But. I have a very grand purchase in mind for these keys, so let's get to that. Alright, so I'm gonna buy an item from Steve for, yep, 900 pure keys. This is an insane amount of money, and it must be for an insane hat, right? Well, in my eyes, this is one of the best hats that I could ever own, and I've actually owned it before. Those of you who know me probably know that it's a team captain. But this isn't just any team captain. It's a Scorching Flames team captain. 900 pure keys for Scorching Flames. Uh, I had one before I got the golden frying pan. I used that team captain in the trade for the golden frying pan. The Scorching Team Captain's just a dream hat of mine, and I really didn't get to play with it that long. I had it for probably less than a week before I traded it for the pan, and I really wanted some more time to enjoy the hat. Uh, I love the first gen Team Captains. I've always wanted a Burning Flames one, of course, that's why I have it in my intro, but <laughs> I don't quite have that much yet. But I guess it could be a future goal, so yeah, for now. I'm gonna buy a Scorching Flames team captain, the second one I've had, but I'm paying a lot more than I did last time. So these Scorching Flames team captains, uh, this is a duped one of course. There are two clean ones on the market, but they want close to 2,000 keys, and that's just insane for me. I, I, I'm not gonna pay 2,000 keys for a Scorching, I might as well just save up for a burning at that point. but. The duped ones also have skyrocketed in price, um, the buy orders are climbing. So my last duped Scorching Team Captain, I paid 535 keys and I bought that off of Game Pan. 
And that wasn't even the lowest quick sell price at the time. I think some of them even sold for lower, 500, uh, 470, but I digress. 900 keys for this is still a fair price. The last one that quick sold went for 800 pure. Um, and there was a unusual sale for uh, around 1100 keys and nice items. So, I mean, it's not like I'm losing profit, but I don't really plan on reselling this anytime soon. Unless I get a nice offer, then I'll definitely consider it. But I should stop delaying and send this trade. Now, basically the whole reason why I restarted trading, uh, well, not restarted, um, continued trading by selling my Bonzo is to get another Scorching Flames team captain. And I just haven't really found the right point in time where I could either afford one or just never bit the bullet because I saw they kept rising in price and always missed my chance, you know? Uh, so I've been offering on these Scorching Flames team captains for months now. And... I'm stoked to get to I'm stoked to finally get it. So I'm 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 fumbling all my words cuz I'm st <laughs> I'm too excited right now. My hands are trembling. Ooh. In my opinion, it looks a little bit nicer than the Burning Flames, but of course the Burning Flames is just much more iconic. So Steve, I met in game and he wanted around a thousand pure for the team captain, and I just said that once I sold my CSGO stuff, I'd give him 900 flat, um, and I didn't really want to go any higher, so he tried to negotiate a bit, I just shot him down, and it was a little bit risky for me, but to be honest, 900's already a lot for a dupe team captain. Um, if I were to like resell this right now, I'd probably be lucky to get the same amount, but of course, I'm gonna be hanging on to this for the near future and rocking it on my soldier, medic, and heavy sets. Now I guess I could have bought a Scorching Flames team captain uh, at the start. Um, I could have just sold my Bonzo for one of these, um, but it didn't really feel right to do that because for one I'd be stuck with no hats for the rest of my classes and I think the Bonzo I could have gotten a bit more. Because the team captains at the time weren't selling for that much, they were selling for maybe 700 keys at that time. So, yeah, I just kept on trading, made a ton of profit actually. Got some items I like to keep, like my vintage big kill, the spelled one. A um, couple little unusuals here and there. A um, couple items, a gift for my brother. I'm spending 100 keys for a gift. For my brother uh, he doesn't know this yet but once I get this team captain I'm actually gonna trade him a Sunbeams Rebel Rouser now this hat the Sunbeams Rebel Rouser it's been his dream hat for years literally before I even started trading this has been his dream hat and I had enough keys to buy it for him and get a team captain and have a bunch of other keys to keep on trading so might as well 100 keys it puts a dent in the budget that's for sure but Oh man, the look on his face is going to be priceless. Alright guys, so I just got the Scorching Flames Team Captain. Second one I've ever owned. Let's give a good look at this. Ooh. Scorching Flames, baby! Get out of here, Midnight Rider.
Incontinentia. Incontinentia buttocks. <laughs> 